This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good morning, my Real News Media TV family. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning, and I'm wishing for everyone a wonderful and a productive day. And in the news this morning for July 3, 2023, engineer among trio granted bail, remurder of Sanchez's son, and two others. An engineer and his two co accused who are charged with the triple murder of three men, including a son of popular Jamaican singer Sanchez in Augustown, St. Andrew last year, were all granted bail in the sum of $800,000 on Friday. The accused, the engineer, 27 year old Kevin Trigger Wright, as well as 24 year old Marvin Walker, alias Jr. and a Crocodile, and Javon Smith, appeared in the Kingston and the St. Andrew Parish Court. The trio, all from August Town, were charged with three counts of murder, wounding with intent, illegal possession of firearm, and illegal possession of ammunition. Those killed on Saturday, April 30, 2022, were Sanchez's son, Kevin Anthony Jackson, 21, otherwise called Kids Friday, 24-year-old Rashid Edwards, otherwise called Boppy, and 18-year-old Kina Ray, otherwise called Brain all of Bedward Gardens in August Town. During the bail applications on Friday, the attorneys for the accused the trio challenged the identification evidence of the main witness and other elements of the prosecution's case. Despite the prosecutor objecting to bail, the presiding judge offered the defendants bail with strict reporting conditions, including an order for them not to return to the August Town area while the case is on. Wright, Walker, and Smith had their cases transferred to the Home Circuit Court in downtown Kingston for mention on September 18. Reports are that about 4.40 p.m. on April 30, 2022, a group of men was at a field playing football when a group of heavily armed men approached them and opened gunfire. Four persons were shot and were later transported to hospital, where Ray, Edwards, and Jackson were pronounced dead. A fourth person was admitted at the health facility at the time. By November 2022, the police announced the charges being laid against the walker. He was arrested in October of that year after being denied entry to Panama. Walker was taken into custody on his return to Jamaica on Monday, October 31, 2022, and the later charge the police said then. It is not known when Smith was arrested or charged. Jamaica House declares the minister followed proper protocols in SIA incident, points to public officials for backup. The Ministry of National Security has declared that no protocols were violated in the handling of an incident at the Sangster International Airport on June 23, which was highlighted in an article published in the news on Sunday. In a statement through the office of the Prime Minister yesterday, following the publication of the article, it was indicated that Minister of National Security, Dr. Harris Chang, had been approached with a query regarding an individual who was in Jamaica to attend the funeral of his grandmother and was refused the landing due to a torn passport page. The minister, having not received any information about any negative behavior by the traveler, exercised his legally empowered discretion and allowed him to land on humanitarian grounds, the Minister of National Security stated. The news article had highlighted the order the release of an American man from police custody after he was accused of verbally abusing and threatening the safety of an immigration officer at the Sanctuary International Airport. The incident had reportedly sparked allegations of political interference from angry border protection officers in St. James, with some sources claiming that the man had been charged with disorderly conduct, therefore making it inappropriate for the minister to intervene. However, while speaking with the news, Chang maintained that the man had not been charged and that he had not been aware of his disorderly conduct until after the fact. In its statement yesterday, the National Security Minister said the police have confirmed that although the individual was taken to the police station, he was at no point charged with an offense. The official police report states that the traveler was refused to leave to land and placed in custody to await being returned to his country of origin on the next available flight, the National Security Minister said. About 10.57 p.m., he was released to his family to allow him to attend his grandmother's funeral. The aforementioned information is documented in the cell diary 
at the Barnett Street Police Station and there is no entry at the station to suggest that the individual was charged with any crime or offense. The news has not seen the cell diary. The Ministry of National Security stated too that Andrew Winter, Chief Executive Officer of PICO, confirmed that Chang was unaware of any adverse behavior exhibited by the individual when the agency requested an exemption on humanitarian grounds. The Minister of National Security in its statement also indicated that Alison Stone Roof, Chief Immigration Officer for Jamaica and the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of National Security, said based on consultations with the agency and a review by the Ministry of National Security, I can affirm that the minister acted within the law as outlined by the Aliens Act. The minister exercised his discretion upon the request of the Passport and Immigration Services. At the time the minister was engaged, he was not aware of any adverse behavior by the traveler. The Ministry of National Security stated further that consultations with Attorney General Derek McCoy confirmed that the minister possesses an overarching power under Section 17 of the Aliens Act, which he said indicates that the minister may direct that any person or class of persons shall be exempt either unconditionally or subject to such conditions as the minister may impose from all or any of the provisions of this act. NWC's Trelawney Commercial Office to be relocated to Falmouth. The National Water Commission Commercial Office in Trelawney is expected to be relocated to Falmouth, the parish capital, from Martha Bray, the former parish capital, before the end of next month. The office, which is now located in the Jonestown section of Martha Bray, will be relocated to the Champion Shopping Mall in Falmouth. This was disclosed by Aubin Green, NWC Zone Team Leader, during the Trelawney Municipal Corporation's Mayor's Forum, held in Water Square, Falmouth, recently. Green stated that the relocation of the commercial office is among a raft of initiatives by the utility company to improve services to its customers. The NWC is committed to providing easy access to high-quality potable water and wastewater services while being responsive to your needs. To this end, there are several projects that are currently ongoing or being implemented to achieve this objective. Chief among them is the much-anticipated relocation of our commercial office from Jonestown in Martha Bray back into the town of Falmouth at the Champions Plaza Green Disclosed. The process is approximately 85% to complete. The retrofitting of the office space to accommodate our staff and the customers is currently ongoing and we are foreseeing that the office will be opened to the public by about mid-August this year. In addition to that, there are several other projects that we are currently implementing, he said. He said that plans are also well advanced for piped water to be distributed to Braco, a community now without the precious commodity. We have currently procured the material to install approximately one kilometer of six-inch transmission main into the community of Braco, and we foresee that this project when we receive all of the materials required, will be completed within another eight months after receiving all the materials, he said. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.